Yes, what do you want? Comfortably tell you that you have been nailed. I only come to see if you're ready for business. Are you out of your mind? How dare you speak to me in that manner? And what are you talking about? In this memory card, at your voice data of all the conversations between you and your boyfriend, Daniel. You, you broke my phone? How dare you? Sex. As if sex is the only valuable thing. But I am not a fool. You are going to pay me the sum of 5 million naira. If you don't want the Igwe, don't list it to the table. You are so disrespectful. You are not even expecting to get 5 million naira from me. Where? I listen to the king and I know he's helpless. Tell him any amount and it's yours. Do what you have to do to make sure that the king don't see that memory card. The evidence is very incontrovertible. There's no way you can deny that you were in your voice. going around this palace is that you've been sleeping with the maidens. Is that true? Oh, mother. Mother. Why are you doing everything possible to, to provoke me, mother? Huh? I mean, look at me. I'm a man of honor. I keep saying I'm a man of respect, dignity, mother. I will not stoop so low to screw maidens in this palace. I will not do that, mother. You're going to swear that you've not been sleeping with the maidens? You've not condescended so low to sleep with the maidens that your father got married to? You know what, mother? I don't have time for this. Hmm. I have better things on my mind. I'm a very busy man. Ubaka has traveled to London and I'm the only one left. So it means I, I need time to focus and think about my life. Plan my future mother and not, like I said, screwing maidens. Give me some credit, mother. I'm leaving. Naka.
I invited you here to expound something. Why are you looking around my throne room as if, as if you are in an abandoned necropolis? There are things that happen here when the sun is gone that you will never be proud of. I look at you and ask, is there no man at home? Jay Bato, you are the one who told me that a maiden from this land will solve my problem. And let me tell you, today I have 27 maidens in my palace and not one of them has been able to solve my problem. The problem still there unsolved. Now why don't we face that problem? Instead of, instead of uh, talking about uh, something that happens in the dark. I, I, I don't live in the dark. Igwe, the men that live with you advise you to invite me. And you obeyed instantly. I turned to look at you once again and asked, When has it become the custom of your people for a maiden to advise a king? Ichi, the maiden did not advise me because she knows she cannot advise me. She merely made the suggestions which I found very interesting and plausible. So I decided to explore it. And you tell me what can we do to make sure that she is the one who is going to solve my problem? Obviously, she's going to solve the problem. But first of all, all the maidens must remain nude in the sun for seven minutes. And it will happen simultaneously. <laughs> what, 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 what do you mean by posing naked in the sun. Yes, assemble all the maidens in this palace that have attempted to resurrect their libido. I mean the essential arch and felt. Gather them at one corner of the palace. Order them to pose nude in the sun for seven minutes. After all of them will urinate in one bar. The million of honor that advise you to invite me will then take immediate bath with that urine. She must not use any towel after the bath. The liquid must dry on her body. Then she can take a normal bath with any soap of her choice. It is then that all the thing that were, was taken away from you will return immediately just like that yes all was opposed for the sun together the light of the sun the strongest light of the earth will destroy that cause that is holding you down Your Majesty, assemble all the maidens in the garden behind my library. Consider it done, Yes, Your Majesty. Daniel, I don't like this. I've not heard from you, so I've been worried. Don't call me. I will call you. 
Ify, what have I done that you don't like? Why are you doing this to me? Huh? Daya, there are lots of developments in the palace. And there are issues I'm trying to resolve. And I am saying, please, do not call me until I call you. Yes. Ify. If 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 I am. God. Come in. Yes, Mkume. The king has demanded the presence of all the maidens in front of the OB. Others are there already. Very well then. I'm on my way. Igwe, I'm here with you. Ichi Paku. Igwe. You are welcome. Thank you. Your Majesty. Your Majesty. What is going on here? I asked you to assemble all my maidens. Where are the others? Your Majesty, these two are the only ones left in the palace. What? Where are the others? We must get to all the maidens at once. You told me you have 27 of them, and I want to address all of them together. It's your Paku. Igwe. Don't add salt to the injury. You heard the guard say that these are the only two left. Can't we make do with the with, with these two? I'm too full, <laughs> That's right. That which I saw in the throne room is becoming clearer. Clearer and clearer. <laughs> and what was it you saw in the, in the throne room? And what's all this that you say is done in the dark? The, the dog. The dog has visited on the child it was asked to protect. I must get back to my village first. You cannot, you cannot do that. I invited you here to solve a problem. You have not solved that problem and you say you, you want to go back to your land. Igwe, your office as a spring controller is only valid here in Putiputi Kingdom. I am a man from Urunebo and definitely you cannot dictate to me. No. Tell me, where are the maidens? I said, where are the maidens? Speak! Your Majesty. But they left without my knowledge. They left without your knowledge. Now what the hell are you, you being paid for? You are well paid, well taken care of. Where, how dare you stand there and tell me you didn't know? You are there, to, you're supposed to know everything that happens in this, in, in, in this palace. None of you! You will learn a lesson you will never forget. I promise you that! There! Oh! We shall see. Oh! The dog has feasted on the child who will meet better. Come. 
I do not need another seer to tell me that this very seer just made reference to what you maidens have been doing with Prince Naka and the guards. Truth will come out at a cost, and I will see to it. She's such a lousy gossip. Ever since she stepped her foot into this palace, it's from one trouble to another. Causing problems everywhere. Are you leaving me? yourself as the mother when you are not in control of anything. I'm sorry, Your Majesty. That's rather too harsh. How could you address your queen with such choice of words? 21 of the 27 maidens I brought into this castle are snaked out. Why did you let them? Since you became the Supreme Controller, I have never dabbled into your affairs. Why are you attacking me now? Any waywardness on their part could have colossal consequences on my life. I have exposed my nakedness to all of them. And if they are exposed to any other man's nakedness, I will die. listening to the kind of rubbish you're telling your wife. You look me in the eye telling me you have exposed your nakedness to all of them. 27 minutes! Who are you not even married to? And you expect me to stand and listen to this? Uh, please wait. You're my king, my lord. Do with me whatever pleases you. I die. You you will become a widow. But you can stop it. Yes. 
Just by spreading your tentacles and get, bringing those maidens back here before they see the nakedness of another man. I'm sorry, Your Majesty. Let me be sincere to you. It's already too late. What, 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 what do you mean, it's already too late? Some men in authority in this palace have seen the nakedness of some, if not all. You started this whole thing. Please be the one to finish it. I don't want to get involved. against him. There is no way I would have showed him the memory card. You see, the king is a summation of the kingdom's evil. He's a murderer and men are not supposed to protect murderers. You sound as if you have been a grudge against the king. He killed seven virgins to become the supreme controller. Tell me, are we supposed to throw pity for such a murderer? The king murdered virgins? Who told you this? Confront him. Surprise. He's a sinner and the wages of sin is dead. I see that man coming to an end. He murdered virgins? Time. Don't be in a hurry. Look around. This is cool. <laughs> for real. For real. It is. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know my place is beautiful. Even if you don't tell me like that. But you know, seriously, babe, were you expecting the kind of the kind of rat hole that Obaka lives in? Is that what you expect? Mm -hmm. Come on. Give me some credit. I am the one in control of the family wealth. Me. Everything money here passes through me. Alright? So, my dear. Allow me to Wait a minute. I don't even know what I'm doing here with you. You expect me to abandon my fiance and come after you? All right. Hey, hey, listen. This, this is the good part. I, I know you'll love this one. I'll marry you. This minute, right now, yes. You have confirmed to me that you don't have anything to do with my brother. You haven't slept with him, right? And I believe you. That means you owe him nothing. Yes. Oh, look at you. Oh. One more, one more, one more. Oh, look at you. You, you are not made. Come here. 
You are not made for a miser. You are made for a heavy spender. Like me. Oh. Yes. You know, I was coming back to pick up a file I was supposed to send to the Minister for Petroleum Resources when when by oh Jesus when by God's grace I saw you serious you mean you left that all that because you saw me yes I did you know when a beauty like you is involved business can <laughs> Seriously. Yes, business can be. Hmm. Only today, my dear, I have spent over 500 grand on you. And that is more than what Obaka has ever spent on you in his entire life since you guys met, I know. So, my dear, make up your mind to be with me. And I will introduce you to the family wealth. And together, together, me and you, we will rock this place oh, down. Stop that. <laughs> Excuse me. Hello, Ma. Are you going to stay in Fiber Car forever? I hate girls who doesn't know how to make use of their time. I'm sorry, ma'am. I'm actually on my way already. I'm, I'm almost home, ma'am. That was the back of mom. Okay. Maybe, I, I don't know. I don't like the idea of coming to live with her in the palace. Just a few days now, Nina, she's already getting on my nerves. Meanwhile, I don't even know what I'm doing here in the palace, in the first place. I'll tell you what you're doing here. You know, I'm a philosopher. Yeah. I believe that you being here is God's doing. Yeah, God, God wanted us to meet. That's why you're here. And now that we have met, You are not going anywhere. Yes. And that is why I took you shopping. So what are you insinuating? You want me to spend the night with you? <laughs> not just the night, my dear. I want you to spend eternity with mm. me. Stop! Where have you left your manners? I never had manners in the first place. Guards are becoming morally bankrupt. What do you think? The dance may not be the only one's guilty, to Your Majesty. Lots of wrong things are going on in this palace. Morality has simply become nothing. Man, this is this is this is serious. Are you joking with it? No, Your Majesty. I'm not joking. Ubaka, your son, has the attributes of nobility. The other one called Naka is not endowed with any form of nobility whatsoever. If he tells you the relationship he has had with the maidens that left the palace without notice, it may form the basis of the cleansing that must take place in this palace before you heal. Are you possibly telling me that my son Naka had any anything to do with the maidens? I resisted him once. What? I doubt if the other maidens could have resisted him. I mean, bearing in mind the amount of wealth under his control.
Are you confirming to me that my son Snaka made it pass at you? Your Majesty. Your Majesty. I said he had the effrontery to come to my chamber to do that. What? Now I doubt if the other maidens could have resisted him. In fact, Your Majesty, I am certain they couldn't have resisted him. Cursed Mario of yours. Can tell me how many of my maidens you have defiled. Me, father, me, that is not possible. You gotta, you gotta be me. You are the useless talk. Who insisted on, 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 on the child he's supposed to protect. I swear, father, you shall never be well with me if I ever have anything to do with any of your maidens, father. Please, please, not me. Me. I bow before your majesty. And who are you? Oh, father, she is the one that will prove to you that I've done nothing with your maiden's father. She's my fiance. She's the one I plan to, to bring to you, to introduce to you, father. Believe me now, father, look. Now, father, father, take, take a good look at her, father. Will I have someone like this? Someone as beautiful as her, and then go about sleeping with your maidens. Is it possible? Father, I can't. Give me some credit. I'm a man of dignity. Father. Well, I'll, I'll look into it. But if I find that it has happened, then I'll cut off your genitals. <laughs> oh. Your father accusing you. Don't mind my father. My father, he, he's a psycho. Yes. You know, he just he just goes about suspecting everyone because, you know, anyone who kills with a sword wouldn't want anyone to come behind him with a sword. So don't mind my father. He, <clears throat> Hello, good evening, Ma. Hello, Miracle. Where are you? Ma, I was on my way home actually before I ran into an old auntie that just came back from the US. Yes, US, Ma. So, what are you trying to say that you're not coming back home tonight? I am no, I mean, I'm coming back. Uh, no, what happened is that. You know, she insisted I come home with her owing to the fact that uh, I'm staying with you when your son has not made any commitment to the family. Uh, you know, she was just complaining. What's the name of this, your auntie? Ah, uh, ma, you don't know her, you know? She's, she's an old, no-nonsense auntie who has lived in the U.S. since uh, 1977. Yes, you don't know her, ma. But somehow, I feel you're lying to me. Ah, no. How can I? I cannot lie to you. What I'm telling you is just the gospel truth. Right from the very beginning, I've always known that she's not a noble woman. I kept quiet because I didn't want to offend my son. Now she's gradually coming out. <laughs> Indeed. I never knew you could lie like that. Brilliant. Brilliant. Come on. Don't mind. Don't mind my father. He's a baby. He's a psycho. He wanted to kill me. Nobody can kill me. You know that. You're telling me the truth? Yeah. <laughs> ah! I 
I have more than enough evidence to show that you disrespectful guards have been sleeping with the maidens. Are you going to deny it? Hmm? Am I speaking to trees? You better speak before I damage you. Your Majesty, I can swear on my life. No such thing has ever happened. We are not disrespectful. I will not let you swear by your lives because your lives are valueless to me. But first thing tomorrow morning, I'm going to take you to the forest of Kupa. And there, you will swear that you did nothing. Your Majesty, I can swear with the name of our ancestors. Such a thing never happened. Even I'm even ready to go this night, Your Majesty. What happened in the dark is gradually coming out in the open. Hey. Will you shut up your mouth? What do you mean by that? Now, the both of you, out of here! Out! Oh dear, I'm sorry for you. Idiot! I don't know what you're talking about. I will go to the upper forest tonight. You will die. Oh, Mary Lass, are you a kid? Eh? I was never committed to what I said. I knew for sure that there is never a way the king can go to the forest this night. Ask you something, Your Majesty. It was about Naka. Don't. You almost made me kill my son. That's not fair. I thought I should let you know. That means that you trust Naka that much, Your Majesty. Well, yes, enough to hand over the company to him when I retired. And since he took over, he has been exceptional. Yes, exceptional. So, if it's Nika, don't. In the night you took up the title of the Supreme Controller, it's on record that you rudely terminated the lives of virgins. Do you sincerely think that Naka's life is way better than those innocent, promising people who got wasted? Who told you this? Who told you this information? It's only reserved to. People who have been initiated into the masquerade cult in the land. Who told you? Let's say I've been speaking to the relevant people on how to solve your problem, Your Majesty. And I can authoritatively tell you that the virgins are very angry. And they are the ones responsible for your problem. <gasps> I said, who told you? And who are these relevant people you keep talking about? A celestial prophet called Jerome in town. Anything he cannot solve does not exist. He is the one that will solve your problem. Jerome, uh, are you serious? Are you sure? I am sure, Your Majesty. I will not abandon you like those maidens. I am here with you till the end. So, how can we see this um, Jerome? I can take you to him tomorrow. No. He would have to come here. He who pays the piper dictates the tune. Settled, Your Majesty. 
I will bring him to you. This is fraud. This is what they call fraud in prophecy. I have always preached against it. But I'm surprised. I find myself doing it now. Jerome, um, are you out of your mind? Do you want us to start arguments again? See, this is the gate. All you need to do is step out from the scar. Walk to that gate and press the bell. A porter will come out with a useless uniform. All you need to do is go inside there and see what you have to say. My wife has already gotten into the melting point and this man is ready to pay anything. I mean anything. This is the first time, the very first time I'm doing this. And that is why you've been poor all your life. I am offering you a huge opportunity to see millions in your account. This man can cough out 20 million naira and I'm going to give you 2 million naira out of it. At least you can get yourself a new car and change that, that so-called signpost you have in, in your temple. Just step down and do it. Wait, Dana. Are you saying that if this man pays 20 million that you will just give me only 2 million? Jero, 10%. That is the paid value in this country. I'll be very heartless if I pay you anything less than that. Just step down and, and, and go there and say something. It, it, the prophecy is still holding your mouth. Okay? You can make this man pay. And I know he's going to pay. You know what, Dana? Yeah. I am no longer interested in this business. I quit. Oops, just take me back to my temple. Jerome, it has not got into that now. Okay? It hasn't. Just go down there and, 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 and see what you have in your mouth. Just see your shark. Okay? What you said cannot hold. And we will talk about it when I come back. I wish you the best. Prophet, useless man. Have you ever made a million naira before? And I'm offering you two million naira and you're saying nonsense. You can take care of your family, change your sign post. Just go there and talk. Things gonna work out. Um, I asked her to bring you here because of the interesting things that she said you can do. Now, we have been here now for over 10 minutes and you have not been able to do any tangible thing. Are you trying to discredit my queen who holds you in high esteem? Your Majesty, peace. Consultation. I want to see the guards that watch over this palace. Oh, the guards have been resolved. Oh, yes. After this meeting, this very meeting that we're holding, I am going to bundle the two idiots into the upper forest. Oh, yes. They are going to swear before the deadly god whether they have seen or touched any of the maidens. Your Majesty, touch is a word too basic to qualify what they did to the maidens in this palace. Hmm? 21 maidens that left this palace. Two left. Pregnant. Your Majesty, pregnant. 
heard that from the guards. Your Majesty. Can this be true? Can it be true? Guards! Guards! Yes, Your Majesty. Your Majesty? Lift your faces! Your Majesty, these ones are clean. Mm. They are innocent. I am looking for the maniacs, the unfaithful servants, the two head guards that control all the other servants. You can go back to where you came from. You are not the ones I'm looking for. Now go! Your Majesty, mm? you have to excuse me. I have to go and get those two unfaithful bunch. They have to stand here and listen to what the prophet is saying. Yeah, 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 okay. Well, if what you say is true, then I am finished. No, Your Majesty. You will not be finished unless when you decide to be finished. Your Majesty, there is a way out. Huh? Yes. The way out. No, listen, no. Daniel, I feel so sick being the one taking advantage of a troubled man. I, mean, I don't know why we are doing this. See, um, Ephania. This is no time for you to sound weak. Jerome has been briefed, okay? And I know he's not going to disappoint. Follow him and make sure he gives the man the proper pill. He's thinking Bilonia can pay anything for his life, okay? Daniel, I have to be very sincere with you. You are not a noble man. And I hate to even think that I know- Please, let's not go into that now. There is nothing like nobility without money, okay? Just do this thing. After this, we can now talk about nobility. Is that okay? God, how could I be this unlucky? I mean, how did I ever meet a man like this? myself with the you know against any terror that might be unleashed by any mortal but unfortunately I shot myself in the foot well, as I am here I am regretting why I took the title your majesty hmm? I'm afraid to say this huh? but the two head guards are no longer in the what do you mean? Where are they? They have absconded, Your Majesty. Of course they know they cannot go to the forest of Uban Swan or Parsley. Oh. Your Majesty. Oh. Well, you, 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 you said there is a way out. What is this way? Yes, Your Majesty. I shall invoke all the maidens and the guards that run away back into the stars. Really? Yes. Mm. And I know a sacrifice we shall offer in the center of the palace and everything shall return to normalcy. Oh, I will do anything. I don't want to die. You shouldn't. No, I don't want to die. I don't, I, I don't want to die. Your Majesty, for each person that left, he will pay um, 10 million naira. Mm, 21 maidens 
and two guards. That's uh, 230 million naira only. Release the money today. Everybody is back to the palace here tomorrow. We will hear the wounds and you'll be perfect again. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait to lay my hands on those vagabonds who had the audacity to enter my maidens. Oh yes, I shall skin them alive. Skin them. I'll skin them alive. What are we doing, Your Majesty? Hmm? Uh, death. Time is not on your side. Uh, 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 death is drawing. Death is drawing nearer yeah, I don't want to with die. every minute. I don't want to die. Uh, and we need to banish death immediately. Yes, yes. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Um, get the uh, father's cashier to make the money available to him. Yes, Your Majesty. I don't want to die. 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 Hey, no, I don't want to die. I don't want to die. This is the very first time I am yielding myself for first prophecy. A lady like you, <laughs> who can swim the ocean, cannot be drowned in a lake. What do you mean by that? Make the money available to me. That is his express instruction. The money available to me. Igwe, each time I remember what happened that night, I always ask myself, where is your milk of human sympathy? Must we always go back again and again and again to that same point? Look, it was a mistake. And I have realized my mistake. Now I have come to the conclusion that the problem of the king is bigger than the king. What have I been saying? Isn't that what I have been saying? You are Ono and you are the only person who can help me solve the problem. This year from Urunobo could not see you or could not talk to you. He traced me to this compound and told me what I am still uh, unable to comprehend. Mm. Well, he said to me that the dog has feasted on the baby it was supposed to protect. I asked him what it meant, but he wouldn't tell me. Your son, Naka, is evil. What? He contributed to the calamity that befell you. Did the seer say that? That Naka has defied all your meddings is no longer news because uh, this is not the first time you, have, you are hearing of it. The news that has finally set him against the gods is that he slept with them right in the room the throne is. What? The very room that we gather to discuss crucial decisions concerning this kingdom. Now I understand the statement. Naka. How can Naka undermine? The sacredness of my throne. Why, Naka? 
Why would Naka undermine the sacredness of my throne? What's that? Uh, I, 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 see, I see your father. Where is he? What do you mean? Ah, he's here. Where? Where? I can't see anything. He is here. Here. Can't you see him? Can't you see him? Are you sure? Of what yes. Is? I can't see anybody there. He went. He was here! He was here! Can you hear that? Can you hear that? I cannot see anybody. What do you I'm not can... seeing them now. Uh, um, look at them! Oh. Igwe. What is it? What is it? What is it? I'm not seeing anybody. They are looking at them like this. What, 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 what do they want? Hey! Calm down. They are elders. Yes. The elders of our land. Yes. What are they doing here? Hmm? What are they doing here? Igwe, how can you say you cannot see them? They are here. Igwe, can you say if you are sure that you are now seeing the elders of our land? It means your time is right. What? And there is nothing anybody can do about it. No! 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 Look at them! I can see them! They are raising their hands! Hey! Can't you hear that? They're saying I should come! They're beckoning me and saying I should come! Where? Come! Where you are not going anywhere! No! No, I'm not coming! They're not going! Okay. Controller is surely not a good title. Why must he take the title that all his predecessors refused to take? They reigned in peace and died in peace.
I bow in greetings to you, Your Majesty. A great potter potter of Puto Puto Kingdom. Yes. Look. Now you look here. I have confirmed that you are a liar. And I am going to render you impotent. And what are you talking about? Is it about the maidens? Ah! Look. Be faster than your own shadow to defile those maidens has proven to me that you are totally unreliable. Go on, Father. Your Majesty. It is a known fact that you are important, unfortunately. Now, Your Majesty, would you would you like these maidens to go out out of the palace to catch their fun? Would you would you want that? I know you wouldn't want that. Your Majesty. <laughs> I may be forced to cut short this business and travel abroad with you. Ha. What is going wrong? What's what? What is the matter? My father. My father. He he just loves ranting and raving. He just just loves bugging me. You know, just bugging me. Again. I don't give a damn. Yeah. How do we handle the backer when he comes back? The system will take care of the back. I am the one in charge. But he is your brother. Let me ask. Why do you think I was made the business controller? Not him. He said he wanted to round off with his studies first before diving into business full time. Hmm. Yes. Is that what he told you? That is a blatant lie. He always wanted to run the business, but our father in his... <laughs> infinite wisdom saw him as a miser and he gave the business to me you see our business requires grease and of palms here and there and i am the only person who can run this business effectively But if that happens, I will leave you to make a choice. But if you are to choose between that bastard Ubaka and me, who will you choose? <laughs> oh, God. You nuts! 
I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, sir. But this is very urgent. I have your mother online and she really needs to talk to you. You need to pick this call. My mother. My mother has been calling these, these three lines here and I refuse to pick her calls, right? And then you stand here to tell me I need to talk to my mother. Are you crazy? I... No, um, but... She says your father is meeting privately with the lawyers and she needs you to be there. She wants you back to the palace at once. Quiet. Well, Eberi, I have with me here someone who is more important than the throne, more important than the palace. Tell my mother I said so. My father can go ahead and discuss whatever he wants to discuss with anybody. When he is done, it has to pass through me because I am the one in charge. Tell them I said so. Um, um, pardon me, sir, but why can't you listen to me for once? I mean, this is a very, your confidential secretary. I must tell you, sir, there is nothing more important than the throne and the past. Nothing. You my wife, huh? I, 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 no, sir, I, I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. One more word from you and you are dead. happen again I promise you know what just forgive her you, you can't fire her now okay please you still I'm, 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 stand it. Stand it. bastard tell me is that how you walk you hire fire secretaries at will and now you want to fire a secretary as hardworking as a baby? Oh, come on. Resuscitate your human sympathy in case yours is dying. My dear, her position is now vacant. Just in case you want to fill it up. Nobody, nobody messes with me. No. She didn't mess with you. I was here. She was only trying to give a situational report of what's been going on in the palace. Probably as your mother would have instructed. my son. Well, I was actually hoping for a very good time to do this, but the opportunity just presented itself, so I'm going to tell you straight, mother. Miracle and I, we get it. Congratulations then. Thank you. Hey. Hey, what's wrong? Hey, look, listen, listen. Forget her. Huh? Forget her. She don't mean nothing. I never liked that too. I never liked the idea of coming to live in the house. No, what I fear has come. I never liked her. What? Yes. Hey. She's got this strict, bossy, and domineering kind of attitude. As in, she, she just wanted to. Oh. Yeah, you're right, but you know, I can tell you, when it comes to being a mother, I actually prefer her to my mother. Yeah, but don't, don't tell her. Nah, she's gonna stop here. Forget her. Where were we? 
talking about where we are. To be. I remember. Please, please, I'm not going to stop. Daniel, why are you provoking me? Why are you not releasing the money? After all, your target was just 20 million naira. But I ended up forcing that billionaire to release and part with 230 million naira. Why are you not giving me my money? Hey, Daniel. Why are you making a case out of nothing? My wife, if Naya, is with the money and she has not remitted any money into my account. So why are you asking me to give to you what I don't have? Why? I see calamity. Calamity. Yes. I see people walking stark naked on the streets. Yes. Madness. I am going to use the seven books of Moses on you. Money has been released. Call your wife to release my own money. You people don't have to waste time in this kind of business. Money must be shared immediately. Now, Daniel, now. Prophet, I, I, see, do you realize that it is my own fiancé that we use as a bait here? Can you afford to release your wife in such a game? I am the brain behind this business. I am the brain behind it. And no one, not even you, can walk into my house and threaten me to do anything. No. Can't. Daniel. I want us to settle this matter once and for all. Put your wife online. Call your wife. I want to talk to her myself. I want to talk to your wife directly. You want to talk to my wife? Call your wife! Is it because you have charms in your mouth? Huh? So if I call my wife, what are you going to tell her? What have you done in this, in, in this prophetic ministry? That I could not get someone else to do it for at least a hundred thousand naira. Why then come to me? Why did you come to me in the first place? <sighs> Prophet, I want you to go back to your temple and wait for my call. As soon as the storm is over and my wife is back in my arms, we are going to call you. And I want to make you one promise. We are not going to shortchange you. I want to make you... Hello there. Daniel, the man's condition is getting scary and terrible. Um, what is happening? Are you in any danger? No, no, no. I'm not in any form of danger. I'm actually in my chambers upstairs while he's in the real living room. But he's behaving really... Really badly. Um, sweetheart, I want you to define what you mean by his misbehaving seriously. Well, I mean, he's seen all the dead men that have been in position of authority before he took the title of Supreme Controller. It means just one thing the dead are prizing him. Meaning? Any man that has started seeing his ancestors will soon join them. My goodness. The palace is surely on fire. Um, see, see, sweetheart, I want you to get your things ready. Okay? I want you to get ready for the almighty evacuation. We are coming this night, and you are leaving the palace tonight. Um, Daniel, um, I'm not in a hurry to leave this place. Are you out of your mind? Huh? Are you out of your mind? I said you're leaving the palace this night. So why are you not willing to evacuate the palace? Huh? See, the prophet is here. Money. He's on my neck. He's asking me to give him his own share of the money. So why are you not willing to release the money? And why are you not willing to leave the palace? Daniel, you did not evacuate me when I wanted to be evacuated. I'm not ready to be evacuated now. Listen, 
the king has promised. He said I have a very important role to play in the emerging kingdom and I believe him. I want you to do something, okay? I want you to get the money ready. We are coming this night to get our money. Daniel, I would advise you to stay in your house. Listen, the money is with me and it's not going anywhere. Look, I want us to sort this thing out. I mean, I want us to end this whole thing before we share the money. I'll call you again. Daniel, you think you can play games with my money? I will deal with you! Yes. You know what I just confirmed? You are a fool. How could you settle for a girl who Obaka has slept with? What kind of man are you? I can confirm to you immediately, Mother, that Obaka has never mm. slept with her. Mm. Is that not what she told you? Were you expecting her to tell you that she has slept with him? I can't believe that you didn't pick my car because of a useless girl that can afford to sleep with two brothers? Ingredients of sorrow. Hey, I finally see sorrow. Your Majesty, don't you think you need medical attention? I could call your doctor to come and know what the problem is. You are feeling paranoid. Medical science can handle that. You know, when the gods want to kill a man, they start by closing his ears. <laughs> I, 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 I'm a, a, an example. No. When you talk like this, you scare me. When I finally meet him, I will greet him. As a great man. He did everything he could to stop me. And I, I, I would listen. Your Majesty. I, 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 I was just telling my friend 
trusted wife and my queen. How great you are. Please, the temper justice with mercy. Please, I mean, she's the only one I have. It's not the only one. You have to help me. There's nobody there. You have to help me. Your Majesty, come. Just yeah. come and see. Your Majesty, come and see. Please, please. Please, save her. Your Majesty, there's nobody there. Your Majesty, Your Majesty, no! Your Majesty! No! Your Majesty, Your Majesty! Your Majesty!
I am not going to ask you the circumstances that led to the passage of the king, because we all knew it must come. But you would be gracious enough to tell me uh, what led to Prince Naka's blindness? When the king was alive, Prince Naka had always bothered me for sex. I constantly rebuffed him. After the king had slumped and died, I screamed for help and Prince Naka came to my aid. He practically abandoned the corpse of the king and asked me again for sex. Was he blind at this point? No. I was angry at his disrespect for the king. I told him he was sick. I got angry and I walked away, only for me to wake up in the morning and I heard he had been struck with blindness. Hmm. Hmm. How? Abomination. Uh, uh, how? I don't know the people involved in this conspiracy. I don't know them. But I want you all to know this. Nobody, nobody will take what belongs to me. Nobody. I am the king that must be crowned. I am in charge of everything. I order you to shut up. That is the voice of you know why here. That is your voice of no one. My father, my father who was already dead, slapped me as I bent down to cover his eyes. Now you tell him, wherever he is, that I will handle his second death with violence. Nobody. I repeat, nobody will take what belongs to me. Nobody. Nobody. Prince Inaka, a blind prince whose late father inflicted with blindness must be expunged from the lineage of the uh, princehood in Putuputu land. We are not going to discuss anything further until Prince Ubaka comes back. Oh no. Mother. You are so good way. But I want to tell you that nobody be takes what belongs to my son. Yes. You won't tell me you want to wait for the second son to come back. In other words, you want to take what belongs to the first son and give it to the second son over my dead body. It cannot happen. Yes. He must be crowned the king, blind or not. Yes. I think we have to consult the chief priest. He alone can unravel this mystery. Yes, my God. You will not tell me that a blind man inflicted blindness, a dead man inflicted blindness on my son. No. Never. And I told you, nobody can. Nobody. Somebody must have done this. Somebody in this kingdom must have done this. I'm a man. I'm a man. Sit down. The eBay in council must deliberate over this. The earlier you do it, the better. So, do not say anything. Hmm. What do you mean, my mother? My mother should say talk. Say it, no one. Huh? Well, I cannot just stay here. Nobody! Hold on, hold on! I will not be alive and say this happen. I will not be alive and say this happen. He must be crowned. He must be crowned. Hey. He must be crowned. If I am, my dear, God will surely give you your own husband. Mm. You were the last maid that came into this palace. I will make sure that you are adequately rewarded. Mm. Thank you, my queen. Ship in wolf skin. Stay. You must be crowned the king. Thank you, mother. Stay with me. I'm here. Stay with me, mother. Hunka. Hunka. I was on my own when he came and took me into false prophecy. The exercise yielded millions of naira. And now 
he is not willing to release my own share to me. I want him dead. I want him dead this minute. Do you really think it is that dead? I labored. I labored so much for the money. And I deserve my wages. I know that laborers deserve their wages. I deserve my wages. You are not a devoted prophet. You must pay the ultimate price. Where did I go wrong? You should have done since. Eh? Yes, shut up. When the baby dies, the baby said I should do one honorable thing, and that is to leave. Good. So you're putting it to me straight now that I should pack my things and go. Yes. That is exactly what I am saying. I don't even I don't know how I ended up with you. You you represent bad luck. You are a witch. I curse the day I set my eyes on you. You are a witch. Look at you, bastard. See, look at you. Where are you? Look, yes, see, see you. Where are you? I cannot marry you. You, 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 you. bad no. luck. Where are you? Go. Who is even ready to marry this one? Who, who is ready to marry a blind man? Look. Miracle. Oh! Hey. What's going on? Hey. I didn't bother to call you because I just didn't want to disturb you with any kind of rubbish. This thing you brought into this palace, she has been a disgrace. You are a disgrace. Ever since she came into this palace, she has been sleeping with your brother. What? Oh yes, she has been sleeping with your brother. Obaka. Obaka, is that you? I hear, I, I hear your voice. Mother, thank God you're back. This, this thing you brought, she, she is evil. She's a witch. I don't know where you brought her from. She, she caused my blindness. 
yes, I, I agree. I, I slept with her. I tasted up. I slept with her. I, I tasted up pussy. I ate her pussy. It was good. But I'm sorry, brother. I am sorry. I don't, I don't know where you brought this thing. Who she for? You brought my life, you bastard. And you ruined my life, Hannah. Hey, shut up. Shut up. Baka, you are my blood. You are my blood. Come to me, brother. Come to me. Shut up! He showed you money and then you fell for him because you've always been materialistic. Now you listen to me. Whatever sacredness held you and I together got desecrated the very moment you opened up for my brother. Now get out of my sight! Out! I hate you so much, Daniel. If he, if if he, if if now, why are you talking like this? Huh? We, we have the money now. What we should what we should be thinking about is how to settle down. Okay? Daniel, I look back to how we met and I realize that you do not deserve love. You don't deserve my love. What I, what are you talking about? Are you talking all those rubbish to me? If he, the news is everywhere now that the king is dead. Okay? And. I just wanted to evacuate the palace and bring the money so I could have my own share. That's all I wanted to do. Daniel, you will not have one dime. I will not give you any money to share. I, I, I beg your pardon. Are you, are you trying to tell me that you want to spend all the money alone? No. Daniel, the whole picture has just become clear to me now. You are not my husband. You are not my husband. And I thank God that the king's convoy hijacked me that day. I have an opportunity of knowing your true nature. Uh, if you, uh, do you know you're digging your own grave? Do you know that? You know you're digging your own grave. If he, I, I, 
I, I hope you understand what you're doing. And I know you, you know I don't joke with money. When it comes to money, I don't joke. When it comes to money, I don't know my mother. I don't know my father. I don't know my sister. I don't know my friends. I don't know my wife. Not even my neighbors. I don't know anybody when it comes to money. And you know that. You know that so well. Huh? All I need is for you to leave that palace and I need my share of that money. That's all I want. Okay. Shame on you, Daniel. Shame on you. Daniel, I am worth more than that money. But you don't value me. You value money more. Listen, I will not allow you to use me as a bait to make money. And I am going to return all that money back to Prince Ubaka. I will go back into the world and look for my own husband. A man who will love me more than he loves money. Shame on you! You, 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 you can't do all this, all this color me. You can't. If you... If you... If you... I'm so hot. Evie! She, she can't do this. I, 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 I planned the whole thing. I, 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 I did all the plans. I, 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 did, I did all the plans. I, I made it out. You, you just have to leave that palace now. Evie. God, God, God. My money, my money. My money. I, I, I need my shield now. I, 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 God, please. My, I I I I I I I I I I I I planned everything. I I did I did plan. Why? Why would miracle of all people succumb to Naka? Why? This is the last will and testament of His Royal Majesty, Igwe Potopoto of Potopoto Kingdom, made this first day of May 2008. I hereby appoint Barrister Ibenebu of Holy Ghost Chambers as executors of my last will and testament. I, Igwe Potopoto, hereby give a legacy gift of my company, Supreme Oil and Gas Limited, situated at number 25 Boli Boli Avenue, Potopoto Poto Kingdom, with its assets and liabilities, to my son, Prince Obaka Chukuma Omogalo. This aforementioned company is now under the management of my son, Prince Ifesinachi Naka. His continuation in that company has been nullified by this will. <laughs> Prince Obaka Chukuma Omogalo shall take over as the chief executive officer of the company. I, Igwe Potopoto, hereby give a legacy gift of my company, Pots Prince Limited situated at number 12, Damoda Crescent, with its assets and liabilities, to my widow, Queen Manawi Obiageli Omuralo of Potopoto Kingdom. She has proved to be a great woman, and she is to take over as the President and Chief Executive Officer of the aforementioned company. I, Igwe Potopoto, Hereby give a legacy gift of my company, Golden Textiles Limited, situated at number 25, Damuda Crescent, Potopoto Poto Kingdom. Now under the management of Prada and Partners, with its assets and liabilities, to my widow, Queen Amoma of Potopoto Poto Kingdom. I, Igwe Potopoto. Poto. Hereby give a legacy gift of my building situated at kilometer 14 Abadio Way, 
to my trusted median, Ifunanya Okalibe. She has proved reliable in small things, and I am asking Prince Obaka Chukuma Amuralo when he assumes control of the aforementioned company to give her bigger responsibilities. It is my wish that Prince Obaka Chukuma Amuralo take a second look at her. Ifunaya Kalibe has proved to be a reliable woman and it will be my pleasure if Prince Obaka Chukuma Amuralo marries her officially as his wife. She has all the attributes of greatness, and I know that she would make a great queen for this land. Pending the approval of the Onowu and elders in council, I hereby order that Prince Obaka Chukuma Omuralo must be the one that will succeed me as king. That is, if the elders approve my family to retain the kingship. I denounce the title of the Supreme Controller. It came with sorrows, and I would not want the sorrow to continue in my family. I hereby disown Prince Naka Fesinachi Ongalo as my son. He has proved to be very unreliable. He shall have no single share in the inheritance of his fathers. In witness whereof, his Royal Majesty, Igwe Potopoto of Potopoto Kingdom, hereby append his sign and seal on this day, month, and year, best above waiting. Naga, sit down. Sit down. I've already taken a decision that Prince Naka must never be the next king of this kingdom because of his reckless and wanton abuse of the cultural, traditional provisions of our people. Mm. Prince Obaka. Your late father did right in, in death. We have no intention of taking away the throne from this noble family. You have one month to take a maiden as wife. Your father has already suggested a maiden. And in respect, to his uh, that wish, I think you shall consider his uh, suggestion. We shall gather here at the appropriate time. Oh no.
If I am, I am outside the palace gate, waiting for you to come with my money. All I need is my money. But see, just don't let me to come inside there. If not, I'm going to disgrace you. If not, if you don't bring the money and I come into that palace, I will disgrace you. I need my money. If not, God. Yes, what can I do for you? Police. Oh, uh, Mr. Are you Daniel? Um, yes. I'm Mr. Daniel Lokadike, precise to be precise. So what can I do for you? Okay, Mr. Daniel, you're under arrest. For what? You're under arrest for criminal connivance, pretense, obtaining by tricks, and reckless threat to the life of the law abiding citizen of this country. So for that reason, you're under arrest. Officer, I am here waiting for my wife and you're here preaching. Mr. Okadike, you have right to remain silent because anything you say now again will be used against you in the court of law. Officer, move in. I don't understand what you're saying. Move I, I am here with my wife. Officer. I am here with my wife. Hey. Officer. Hey. Hey. Officer. Hey. Officer. Hey. I am not a criminal. Hey. I am hey. just hey. 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 I don't understand what you're saying. Hey. Officer. Hey. 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 Officer. Hey. 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 You're the one behind us. After all I did for you, Funaya, this is how you're going to pay me back. Daniel, the world will certainly be a better place without greedy men like you. Take him away, officer. If I are telling them to take me away, officer, well, that is my wife. Officer, officer, somebody is taking my wife. Wait, wait. This man is taking my wife. He wants to steal my wife. Officer, can you please talk? Officer, officer, wait, 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 you have proven to be exceptional. You've proven reliable in small things. My father ordered that you be given a larger responsibility. And I'm committed to that. Thank you. No, no, no. Come on, come on. It's okay. Man is hungry for wealth and power. Sometimes he thinks that he will live forever. But it's vanity, all is vanity, everything is vanity You can have everything a man can possess, still you have no happiness because All is vanity, vanity, everything is vanity You will leave it all behind when you die, nothing on earth can satisfy All is vanity, everything is vanity Everything is bad. 